Welcome back to Legendary Tributes. Judy Ann Nugent appeared on screen at age six in It Had to Be You, 1947, followed by her landing a regular role in television's first family sitcom, The Ruggles, 1949-1952. Her film career then took off with supporting parts in several mid-50s dramas, including Magnificent Obsession, 1954, one of the Kettle Kids and Ma and Pa Kettle back on the farm, 1954, and There's Always Tomorrow, 1956, for Universal International. Nugent died from cancer on October 26, 2023, at age 83. Curtis Leroy Hansen was a United States District Judge of the United States District Court of the District of New Mexico. Hansen was nominated by President George H. W. Bush on March 20, 1992, to the United States District Court of the District of New Mexico to a new seat created by 104 stat. He died on October 27 at age 90. Wilburn Stephen Rice was an American country music singer and songwriter. Rice charted six singles between 1971 and 1978, including the top 40 hit Travelin' Minstrel Man, but is better known for his songwriting. He died on October 28 at age 84. Matthew Langford Perry was an American and Canadian actor. He starred as Chandler Bing in the NBC television sitcom Friends from 1994 to 2004. He played a leading role in the NBC series Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, 2006 to 2007. Perry also became known for his leading film roles in Fool's Rush in 1997, Almost Heroes 1998, Three to Tango 1999, The Whole Nine Yards 2000, Serving Sarah 2002, The Whole Ten Yards 2005, and 17 again, 2009. He died on October 28th at age 54. Adam Robert Johnson was an American professional ice hockey forward. He played 13 games in the NHL with the Pittsburgh Penguins during the 2018-19 and 2019-20 seasons. He also played in Europe with the Malmo Redhawks, Augsburger Panther, and Nottingham Panthers. Johnson died after an on-skate collision, resulting in a cut to his neck from a skate. He died on October 28th at age 29. Thierry Rautoureau, nicknamed the Chef in the Hat, was a French-American celebrity chef in Seattle, Washington. He was also the chef and owner of several former restaurants, including Lulez and Luck, but entered semi-retired following his restaurant's difficulties with the COVID-19 pandemic. He died on October 29th at age 64. Reed McNeil Isaac was an American chemist emeritus. Charles E. Ma, professor of chemistry, at Bingham Young University in Provo, Utah. His field of research was macrocyclic chemistry and metal separation technologies. He died on October 29th at age 97. Robert Stanford Brewstein was an American theatrical critic, producer, playwright, writer, and educator. He founded both the Yale Repertory Theater in New Haven, Connecticut and the American Repertory Theater in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where he was a creative consultant until his death. He was the theater critic for the New Republic. He commented on politics for the Huffington Post. He died on October 29th at age 96. Lois Galgay Reckitt was an American feminist and activist called one of the most prominent advocates in Maine for abused women. She served as Executive Director of Family Crisis Services in Portland, Maine for more than three decades. She died on October 30th at age 98. Timothy Michael Parenton was an American college baseball coach and third baseman. He played college baseball and college football at Mississippi State University. He then served as the head coach of the Stanford Bulldogs from 1998 to 2004 and the North Florida Ospreys, 2018 to 2023. He died on October 30th at age 61. Aaron Spears 
worked with artists such as Chaka Khan, Usher, Ariana Grande, and Lady Gaga. Over the past few years, Spears created drumming master classes, plus he played at many musician clinics and on numerous television programs. In 2019, he played drums on the pilot episode of NBC's songwriting competition series, Songland. He was an accomplished drummer for artists such as Usher and Ariana Grande. He died on October 30th at age 47. Thomas Kenneth Mattingly II was an American aviator, aeronautical engineer, test pilot, rear admiral in the United States Navy, and astronaut who flew on the Apollo 16 and Space Shuttle STS-4 and STS-51C missions. He died on October 31st at age 87. Tyler Christopher Baker, known professionally as Tyler Christopher, was an American actor. He was best known for his roles as Nicholas Cassadine, 1996-1999, to 2003-2011, 2013-2016, and Connor Bishop, 2004 to 2005, on the ABC soap opera General Hospital. He died on October 31st at age 50. Betty Ann Price was an American music teacher, art director, and ambassador. She was the executive director of the Oklahoma Arts Council from 1983 until her retirement in 2007. She was inducted into the Oklahoma Women's Hall of Fame in 1985 among many other awards and recognitions. She died on November 1st at age 91. Ohad Adi Barkhan was an American lawyer and liberal activist. He co-founded the BA Hero Pack and was an organizer for the Center for Popular Democracy, where he led the Fed Up campaign. Barkhan confronted Senator Jeff Flake on a plane in 2017, asking him to be a hero and vote no on a tax bill that threatened cuts to Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. He died on November 1st at age 39. Robert Montgomery Knight, also known as Bob Knight, was an American men's college basketball coach, nicknamed The General. Knight won 902 NCAA Division I men's basketball games, a record at his retirement, and is currently fifth all-time. He died on November 1st at age 83. Walter Pearl Davis was an American professional basketball player. He was a forward guard for 15 years in the NBA, spending most of his career with the Phoenix Suns. He died on November 2nd at age 69. Brenda Calhoun Snipes was an American public official who was the supervisor of elections in Broward County, Florida. She was appointed by Governor Jeb Bush in 2003. Snipes was registered as a Democrat. She died on November 2nd at age 80. That's a wrap for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content.